Cisco just shook the world with their certification changes, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and I wanna give a huge shout out to Duan Lightfoot for putting out his video today, where he talks in more detail about the changes that were made, but we're gonna give you a quick rundown on what happened today, because it's huge. Before we get further into this video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is proudly sponsored by Cyberry.it. If you guys are looking to get into IT and you're looking for some free video training, I highly suggest that you guys go check out the link in the description for Cyberry. Use the coupon code ITCQ50, save 50% off your premium membership where you can get access to their premium labs and practice tests as well. So the big news of the day, Cisco's CSENT. It's no more. That's right, Cisco has removed the CSENT certification. So you guys will no longer be able to take this certification coming up next year. So if you're still looking to take that right now, you can still take the certification, but it's gonna be looking towards 2020 where they will actually remove this certification. So make sure you guys pay attention to this, but no more CSENT. So what does that mean for you? No more CSENT, so there can be only one CCNA. They've removed all of the other subclasses of CCNAs. So that you'll no longer see the CCNA security, uh, CCNA uh, RS, for instance. There's only going to be one CCNA certification and it's gonna be a very broad certification. So it's gonna cover many of the areas that the other CCNA certifications that you have previously seen have covered. It's just gonna be in this one or maybe two exams. I haven't gotten the details on that yet, but one CCNA certification, very broad, covering many different things there. So you guys are gonna have to pay real close attention to that. They'll be coming out in 2020 as well. But that is big news, guys. So I would imagine that many people are going to start comparing the new CCNA to somewhat of a CSENT in many ways. You may often hear that, but we're not sure on all the details of what the new CCNA will totally encompass. So make sure you stay tuned to the details. It could be a very complex exam. We're just not quite sure yet at this time, but this is huge news. So CSENT, CCNA, CCNP. They made a few changes to this exam as well. There is no longer a prerequisite to get CCNP certified, which is crazy if you think about it. The CCMP is actually a pretty in-depth certification. And before, you would actually have to be CCNA certified to go and take your CCMP. So I've actually already heard people comparing the new CCMP to being the new CCNA. We're just, again, not sure on those details yet. But it is pretty crazy that they removed the prerequisites to get CCMP certified. So you guys can go out, study, lab every single day and get CCMP certified right from the get-go. It's crazy news from Cisco. What are they doing? Other changes with the CCMP, there are five flavors to the new CCMP. Enterprise CCMP, security, service provider, collaboration, and data center. So those are going to be the different flavors or different CCMP certification exams that you will be able to take coming in 2020. So they removed all those from the CCNA and CCMP now has those and you guys will be able to take those more specifically and dive deeper into those specific areas of the CCMP. So before we go to the next certification, which is a new one from Cisco, what do these changes mean to you? Well, nothing right now, but come 2020, you guys are gonna be looking to study for new certifications. So I'd imagine many of the learning providers out there are gonna be scrambling to get content ready for these new certifications as Cisco starts releasing some of their exam objectives and things like that. It's gonna be getting pretty crazy because I really think this is huge news. Now, nothing changes currently. If you guys are still studying for the CSENT or CCNA or the CCMPs now, nothing has changed just yet, just this moment. So keep studying for those certifications, keep going down that route and get certified before 2020 and you guys should be just fine. I think it's kind of crazy that Cisco removed the CSENT and they've broadened the CCNA. We're gonna hear many different thoughts and opinions on this going forward, so make sure you guys pay attention to different tech news sites on what people are saying about this, uh, what's happening with this more specifically. Obviously, this was just released today, so you guys are definitely gonna keep hearing more and more about this as this news and uh, these dates move forward as we get closer to 2020, so just pay attention. Now, I wanna go and talk about the next certification because this is something new 
from Cisco. It's something a little bit different, and that is their DevNet Associate Certification. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can read a little bit more about it, but this was just a quick little blurb that I'm gonna read here from my screen that I again pulled from the website. A first of its kind at Cisco, the DevNet Certification Program validates the skills of software developers, DevOps engineers, automation specialists, and other software professionals. The program certifies key emerging technical skills for a new kind of IT professional, empowering organizations to to embrace the potential of applications, automation, and infrastructure for the network, IoT, DevOps, and cloud. This is an absolutely crazy certification. And it's an associate certification, meaning it's more of an entry type of level certification. It, they compare it there on the website when you go and look uh, more towards that CCNA type of level. So make sure you guys pay attention to that, look into that but it is huge. It's a great certification uh, from the sounds of it. So uh, it says the certification requires one exam that tests your knowledge of software development and design, including understanding using APIs, Cisco platforms and development, application development and security infrastructure and automation. So really relying heavily on the DevOps side, obviously with the certification. So this is big news from Cisco. They've really put a wrench in the certification game and I'm really excited to see what happens with all of this. So that's all I got for you guys in today's video. I hope you guys appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out the link to Dewan Lightfoot's channel and check out his video where he talked about this as well. And stay tuned for more information because I think this is just gonna keep getting crazier and crazier. That's all I got for you guys today. As always, take it easy. <laughs>